Yo, what is everyone, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to go over how to create this really cool closing frame effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So you can see right here, this is what the effect looks like. Now, closing frame effect was the best name um, that I could come up with, but this is what the effect looks like. Now, I got this in inspiration from The Mandalorian, not one of the, not actually one from one of the episodes, but from one of these trailers they kept posting when The Mandalorian was like premiering on Disney Plus. And this is what the trailer looks like right here. So I got this really cool idea from The Mandalorian's Instagram, and this is what the effect looks like. Now obviously it's not a complete replica of it. I, I don't have that kind of like sketching text or whatever. And they have a really cool effect where the video is like disappearing, but it's still in the text. Um, if anybody has any idea actually how to create that, actually I'll zoom in right here. If anybody has any idea how to create that effect, as you can see right here, the video is gone. You can still see the video, but you can still see the video in the text. If any of you are more advanced editors than I am, and you know how to create that effect, definitely go ahead and leave it down in the comments below. Well, there was one effect that I could not figure out um, how to recreate, but nevertheless, I got it pretty close. And this is basically what my version looks like right here, so I'll go ahead and play it again. This is what the Mandalorian's um, version looks like right here. This is where I got the inspiration, so I want to give Mandalorian all the credit. But that's their um, edit. And now this is my edit right here. I got it as close as I could to the original right here. So let's go ahead and basically um, just create a new project right here. I definitely think this is a really cool effect, and I probably will eventually or use this again in the future right here. So let's go ahead and open up the project right here. Let's just go ahead and take these two clips right here. I kind of want to give a basic idea of how to create this effect um, right here. So let's go ahead and basically, I'll just get rid of this marker right here. As you can see right here, this is basically how you create the effect. You have a video underneath it that is continuously playing the video isn't starting or stopping anywhere. It's just a video that is continuously playing underneath. And then on top, I'll go ahead and just disable the keyframe right here. And then on the top right here, you just have a normal video playing right here. So it's literally just two videos right here. Now what you're gonna do right here is you want the top and bottom to basically crop. Now I made a video called like the black bars opening effect and this is basically the same idea but instead of the opening it's actually closing. So what you're going to do right here is you're going to go to the top clip right here. Now this may be different for the different dimensions you shoot in or whatever. But what you want to do is you want to go to the top or go to the bottom of the top of the crop section right here and you want to crank it all the way to the top. Now what you're going to do is, okay, so it goes all the way to 886. So you're going to divide 886 by 2, which is 443. That way they both crop at the exact same time. That's the best, me best method I found. If there's a better method, then you can definitely go ahead and share it in the comments below. But this is the best idea I could come up with. So what you're going to do is, you're going to go to the beginning of the clip right here. You want to keyframe the top and the bottom of the crop section right here. Don't keyframe anything else, just keyframe the crop um, top and bottom. Now let's zoom in right here and I'll go back one frame right here. And because it's 886, so we're gonna divide that by two, 443. So I'll go like this and then we'll go 400 and 43 right here so there you go it completely disappears and that's literally all you basically have to do um, right here so let's go ahead and play it right here and as you can see right there the crop is basically keyframing until boom it disappears so if you can watch the crop right here and watch the keyframe right here watch the top and bottom right here so go ahead and play it and as you can see right here, the top and bottom is being animated, so it closes right here. And that's how you create that really cool effect. And the last thing that I did was I just created a text layer. So let's go ahead and put it over here. And let's paste it over here. And I'll go ahead and just get rid of the keyframe right here. Now, I also changed the position to negative 40. This is all going to depend on your text. 
um, right here. So let's go over here. Uh, it's on Futura Bold Size 100. So that's what it looks like. Uh, in case you're wondering, just go up here to the text section, go over to titles, and then um, go ahead and put basic title. That's how I found the title, just in case you don't know how to find titles. So you can see right here, uh, one thing that I did too was I went ahead and as you can see it's the default is face. I clicked off a of face right here. I clicked on outline, clicked on show, and I changed the color to yellow right here. So you want to make sure the text um, is on outline right here because that's what the Mandalorian did right there. So let's go ahead and start at the beginning. Start the scale to 300 um, right here. And now let's go to the end um, right here. And let's go ahead, actually did I keyframe? I completely forgot if I keyframe the scale or not. Um, okay, so yeah, I, I, uh, that would've been a huge mistake. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to the beginning of the text right here, put it to 300, keyframe the scale um, right here. That's a pretty important step. Then you wanna click on here, and then we're gonna change the text to 100 right here. So that way the text is being keyframed um, right there. So let's wait for it to render a little bit right here. And let's go ahead and play the clip right here. And there you go. As you can see right here, the text is basically scaling out. And there we go. Now, one thing that I did, uh, you may you may see it and ask yourself or ask why is the um, position at negative 40? What I did was I basically tried my best um, to make sure the text was completely like centered with it right here. So you can see right there, I tried to get the text as close as I could to kind of being in the middle. So that led to me adjusting the position to negative 40 right there. But of course that all depends on the type of text and style um, you use right there. So let's go ahead and play it right here. So let's click on the text, watch the screen right here and watch the scale right here. As you can see the scale is being animated of the text, so there we go, it'll go all the way down to zero. And there we go, so let's click on here. And then watch the crop keyframe right here. And now this top clip is being cropped right there. And there you go. That's literally as simple as is how to create the effect right here. All you have is the top with the text. The text is being keyframed. The scale is going down. And then you're having the top and bottom keyframe cropped so the, just until the video disappears. And of course, you could have the text extend longer. You could, of course, mess with it until you're liking right there. But that is pretty much how you create um, the effect uh, right there and that's it. I think it's a really cool and unique effect again here is the Mandalorian's version and of course you can probably find a text that looks like that that's the Mandalorian's version and this is my version I did as best as I could to come as close as I possibly could to, to the effect without having any knowledge of how they create the effect I thought it was a really cool effect and I think this effect is really cool um, for intros Obviously, you don't have this just randomly appearing in your video, but I think it's really cool for an intro of like a sports uh, highlight reel or a music video. Or I think this is a great this is a great effect for like a a trailer or a teaser of something that's upcoming, kind of like a really slow um, paced effect right here. I do think it's a really cool effect. You can go ahead and kind of use your own twist on this and use it for a whole bunch of different things. I am 100% going to be using this effect again in the future. Definitely really like it. And again, if, you, if you're wondering, you could also probably add a little bit of uh, directional blur on the top and bottom just to help make it a little bit a look a little more seamless if it looks a little harsh to you. But that, of course, is all up to you. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every day at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, consider hitting that subscribe button. I also have a Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial playlist with over 140 Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. So if you want to watch more videos about Final Cut, definitely go ahead and check out that playlist. Anyways, see you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.